Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Theorem and today we're going to solve week one of system administration and IT infrastructure services. So this week we're basically going to talk about the key concepts of system administration and IT infrastructure. So our first quiz is with what is system administration? So we're going to look into this. So first question of system administration is which of the following can be a responsibility of a system administrator? Okay, by being a system administrator, okay, so you have to setting up a new user accounts and machines, maintaining servers, troubleshooting user issues, so basically all of the above. Second question, which of the following make up IT infrastructure? So basically you need a hardware software network and operating system, so basically all of this. Uh, which, of the, which of these is considered as a server? A software that provides a service to other software, obviously. Uh, a software that provides a service to another machines. A computer that provides service to other computers. So basically three of them, not the first one. A KVM switch is used to switch between multiple computers using one monitor, keyboard and a mouse. Which of the which of this server hardware can you stack on top of each other in a server rack? Basically rack and blend. With uh, cloud computing, you can access your data user applications from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. What are the benefits of a cloud computing over local computing? Uh, so there are small starting, smaller inter starting cost for cloud computing and software updates are handheld by the company providing the services. Services are accessible from anywhere in the world. Okay, so basically three of these are the answers of our benefits of cloud computing. I mean local computing, sorry. Cloud computing over local computing. Eight, what are the benefits of local computing over cloud computing? Okay, so that was benefits of cloud computing over local computing. Okay, so basically it seems to be the same question, right? What are the benefits of cloud computing over? What are the benefits of lo okay, local computing over cloud computing? Okay, so there's a difference. So basically you have to complete the control of the IT infrastructure and then updates can be handheld at any time, even whenever you need. Okay, so that's about IT administration. So now we are going to our second quiz, which is about administration tasks. So system administration tasks, what are these? First question, which of the following is a good policy to enforce a password? This is long password length, a mixture of symbols and numbers. And then second question, which of this is a part of hardware lifecycle? This is a retirement, procurement and deployment. These three are part of hardware lifecycle. Okay, so that's it. Now we are going to our final uh, graded assignment, uh, graded assessment, so which is basically over the system administration, obviously. So there's a little bit hard questions over there. So I will tell you all the answers. The first question, broken computers are being eco-recycled by the users. Which stage of the hardware life cycle does this scenario belong to? This belongs to retirement. Okay, so, and next, the user can set their own computer host name and username. Which stage of the hardware life cycle does this scenario belong to? This belongs to deployment. When a machine having, is having issues, an IT support specialist has to run, uh, run has to file an RMA. A return merchandise, a return merchandise authorization form. With the vendor of the machine, which stage of the hardware lifecycle does the scenario belong? This belongs to maintenance. For question number four, a laptop gets replaced uh, if there is a hardware issue. Which stage of hardware lifecycle does the scenario? This still belongs to maintenance, obviously. Number five, what are the some disadvantages of cloud computing? You can become independent on cloud provider, but you can also potentially cost you. independent and it will cost this this too. Which of these are likely the consideration, like the considerations for developing a computer policy? Okay, so basically this is whether users should be able to install software. This will be the one answer and developing a computer policy, whether you set a device password. Okay, so whether or not to share their password, this will be another answer. Okay, so this two will be the answer. Which is not an, which is not one of the main stages of hardware life cycle. This is recycling. Recycling is not basically the stages of hardware life cycle. But it is called when you set aside a regular time to update your servers at once. This is called batch update. Which is not an important troubleshooting step, updating services. So the device that connects uh, and controls multiple computers using a symbol, a single keyboard, mouse and monitor is called KVM switch. Which are examples of IT, IT infrastructure? Infrastructure, so this is an organization website. A computer's employee uses uh, used to access internet and file sharing service to uh, for protect files. So these are the answers. Which are potential responsibilities of a sysadmin? Network administration and database administration. So these are the answers, but you need another. This is technical support, which I don't have uh, selected. So this will also be the answer. And that's it about the system administration. And the, this is all about the week one. Okay, so that's all. And there is an optional quick live assessment. If you want to do it, you can go, but that's not necessary for your, uh, I mean, for your grade or certificate. So you can do this for your own practice. See for M1, L3 quick live and production test. 
So uh, basically what you need to do, first of all, you need to access the virtual. Okay, so there is a two external IP. So first of all, you need to download the PPK, which is basically very important. And then you need to open the PuTTY. So you know the how to find the PuTTY. So PuTTY and then run this admin integrator. Okay, so firstly, what you need is to just copy the username paste it at the rate first of all test instance paste ssh authentication browse pbk file open open so that's one terminal and we need to open another terminal okay so which will also be about the booty so we need to open the booty again paste at the rate proved server v okay auth browse ppk open open yes so there is two terminal you can see one is about imported open ssh key and the other is about the important open ssh key with so there is two portion okay so if we went to the part of the scenario there you can see there is a fraud server and test instance okay so there is first of all we need to do a reproduction test okay so for this in apache 2 ladder so first of all we need to check this out in one of our okay so we press enter www.xmbox enter enter okay so it's style css okay so now we need to using the parameter of LSL okay so now we need to add the missing permission to the file of the H mod enter okay so next again LSL show the list okay so they already showed it so check your progress whether it is done or not so the fix the test instance is done okay so now what you can do again do this for your second server enter and again come two commands at the same time now show the list enter okay so css show okay so check your progress fix the production rate okay so that's all you can end the lab okay so cool man cool submit and then press next okay so if we want to we one again you will see your assignment is done and that's all thank you for staying with us.